In February of 2024, we will get the Dragon Festival event which would end up introducing the Azura Dragon along with the Firecracker and both of these were temporary troops. However, once compared to all the previous temporary troops in the game, these ones, especially the Dragon, were just seen as extremely underwhelming and they were even hated by quite a lot of people because of how disappointing they were. And today, we'll be going over these troops to see what made them so hated and if they deserved it. So, let's just get right into it. First up, we're going to focus on the Azure Dragon since that was mainly the troop that people didn't like. And later on, we'll talk about how the Firecracker would contribute to that. So, the Azure Dragon was very clearly a dragon and there obviously is no shortage of dragons in the game. And other than the Electro Dragon, the dragons are fairly well received troops and are liked by most. And Initially, I also really did like the Zero Dragon as I thought the water attack was pretty cool and especially how it would bounce around to multiple buildings. Plus, I mean, those dragons also did look pretty cool and were unique from all the other ones in the game. However, the main issue and what caused them to be disliked was really that they just simply weren't worth it. I mean, as cool as they looked, they really were overall just a mediocre troop and you wouldn't have a reason to try and learn a new attack strategy for like two weeks and play to just using the Root Riders, which were the really strong troop and still are really strong four months later. And I know that applies to only Town Halls 15 and 16, but we'll talk about the other Town Halls in just a second. The Azure Dragons were nowhere near as strong as the Root Riders, and this basically gave nobody a reason to play with the Dragons, and honestly they weren't even like unique enough to warrant people to play with them after the first day or two. Honestly, the Zer Dragons are kind of like flying super archers or bowlers, but just way less efficient because a single dragon took up a whopping 40 housing space, and this is really where it would affect all town halls. The normal dragon only takes up 20 housing space, and the Electro Dragon takes up 30, and I'd argue that both of those are more useful than the Zer Dragons, especially at the lower town hall levels. And then you also have the Super Dragon, which I'd say is the most similar to the Zer Dragon, as instead of water, it does a fire splash damage attack. And both of these also take a 40 housing space, and when you just compare them one to one based off of stats, then the Azur Dragon is clearly better as it has a damage advantage and it has the same health at the top levels, though the health is lower at the lower levels, but that isn't as big of a deal. However, where the main issue lies is in the AI and just behaviors of these dragons. The super dragon will just always continue to go forward, assuming that is where the closest building is, but the azure dragon will always target whatever building to the side of it, and that is where it has the biggest disadvantage, and is why everyone hates it so much. The Azure Dragons are notorious for literally funneling outside of the base since they always just go to the side until they end up outside. And that is just really infuriating and also really reminds you of the horrible AI that the Valkyries had that made them the worst and most annoying troops in the game. And so, overall, the Azure Dragons were really just underwhelming when it came to their strength as they weren't really strong enough to be considered special or worth using and they were really just a letdown when compared to the previous temporary troops. But along with the Zer Dragon, we did have the Firecracker, and while this definitely was much better than the Dragon, it still didn't exactly stand out enough to make it interesting enough. This is a troop that exists in Clash Rail, so it was just brought over to Clash of Clans, and that means a lot of people were familiar with it, and a lot of people did use it, and it was definitely more well received than the Zer Dragon, but I feel like it had the same issue of it taking up too much housing space for the value it provided, and that is why it wasn't used as much as previous events troops. And since we are talking about event and temporary troops and how the dragon and firecracker were some of the worst ones, we need to actually go back and also look at some of the previous event troops to see what made them so special and loved and how they compare with the dragon. So let's just go back a few months before this event to the mashup Manus event which introduced four different unique troops which were really just a combination of the pre-existing troops in the game. Out of these four, you really had one that just stood out way more and that was a Lava Loon and it was obviously based off of the extremely popular Lava Loon attack strategy which had the Lava Hounds and Balloons. This troop was extremely overpowered and for the limited time it was in the game, literally everyone was using it and this was the most united the community had been in years. 
This is because everyone knows the love loan strategy, so it was relatable to them, and it was also very easy to understand this troop, and it was probably even easier to use than the love loan strategy, as all you had to do was just spam these, and you didn't even have to worry about timing, as it was one troop instead of two. This will take over the game because it was so strong and everyone was like 3 starring everyone and it really was a crazy and fun time to be playing the game. And what made this so fun and the Zero Dragon is not very fun was the fact that the Lava Loon was so strong and there literally was nothing that could compare it to it. People just love having something in the game for a little bit that they can absolutely abuse to go and get as much loot and progression as possible. And the reason this wasn't hated like the Root Riders were was because it was obviously just a limited time thing, so people would enjoy it while it was still there since they knew it wouldn't affect the game forever. However, with the Azur Dragon, it just wasn't really good enough to use and people didn't want to waste their time by using this troop more than a couple of times. And I'm not saying that it wasn't a good troop since it was still better than most troops in the game, but it just wasn't so good that it was seen as special or crazy or anything, which is why it was disappointing since people expect crazy and strong troops from events. And another troop to look at as an example could be El Primo, which was a character from Brawl Stars and it was in the game to celebrate the global launch of Brawl Stars. This was a really strong troop and honestly kind of reminds me of the Root Rider because El Primo did a lot more damage to walls and it could basically get through them really easily. And it also did a lot of damage in general which made it perfect for pushes and just as a spam troop that you could put that would tank as well as deal damage and lead the push. It was also pretty fun to use because it was one of the most popular characters from another Supercell game and this automatically made people drawn to him and just made people like El Primo a lot more and really made him a big success. You could have fun while using this troop and also just 3 star braces pretty easily. So while the Zerg Dragon could be considered fun, I think it was still not unique enough to how similar it was to the Super Dragon. And something even more unique was the Giant Skeleton, which has come out a few times during Halloween over the years. And this is a permanent troop in Clash Royale, and it does have many of the same mechanics. The main interesting part in Clash of Clans is really just with the bomb that it drops, as that is what makes this unique along with just its whole size, since I mean it is massive as it is the Giant Skeleton. And the way that this compares to the Zerg Dragon is that even though it isn't that good, it is still really unique that people can't really complain about it and it is enjoyable to play with unlike the Zerg Dragon which doesn't have the uniqueness about it. So overall the Zerg Dragon is really the most hated and least liked temporary slash event troop in the game because it isn't as strong as people would expect a special dragon to be and it also takes up a lot more housing space than it really should be. Plus SAI was just really annoying to deal with as it would 9 times out of 10 end up drifting towards the outside of the base and no one really wanted to deal with that. But that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to let me know down below which was your favorite temporary troop and I'll see you in the next video.